Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Scandinavia. So, guys, when I'm now in a war, I don't even understand. It's just, it feels more like a war that I really shouldn't be in, but I'm in because, yeah. <laughs> it's basically the reason. Um, what is it, anyways? Take Oldsburg. This doesn't, I don't, this doesn't really seem like a war that's really religious. It just seems like it's a war that's, uh, you know. Uh, there. You know what I mean, guys? It just seems there. It's not really about religion, it's more about other stuff. So, yeah, I entered in this war and I'm dealing with it. And Lithuania gained this province right here. That's kind of good because they now cause definite friction between Lithuania and the other people, which I honestly think that, you know. The Livonian Order's really got to watch out for Lithuania, because Lithuania will come back and go backstab them. It's, it's almost like a proven fact that they will come back. So, I don't know why, you know, I don't know why they keep, like, allying against me when the real threat, and I mean the real, real threat, are them. You know, I may be a threat to a certain extent, but I know when, I, when I'm beaten, and right now, I'm definitely beaten, and I'm just trying to, like... You know, calmly but collectively gain back all the power I lost during the time. By the way, can I finally put down my army men? Thank goodness. I can finally get some of my fleet maintenance too. Which, by golly, I don't have a fleet anymore, so we're gonna have to start working on that too. But, yeah. I can't actually get to that country right over there, which kinda stinks. Oh gosh. And. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Austria has a huge army. Spread disease. Uh, yeah, attempt to stop the suffering of the pain. Uh, militaristic access. Is requesting for fact accepting will allow them to remove armies to, into our territory? Sure. I don't know why we'd want to, France, but sure. The papal state. I'm really wondering how the papal state. One of the head of the Catholic Church became Protestant. That's... You know, that seems like one of those things that should not be able to happen, but it happens. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where you're just like, it shouldn't happen, but it did. Oh gosh, and then over here we're now having... We're now having our expanded land, so now we have all of this is now Scandinavia, which is nice. It's very nice, actually, to have all this land underneath our control. Makes you feel like we are becoming powerful in the new world. As we have become powerful in our own world. Okay. Corn province, corn province. I can't actually convert any of this until later. But it should not be that. It's not that difficult. <laughs> Flatly put. So let's see. Portugal has a clear war upon the enemies Morocco. Oh, that's going to be a tough war for them. Let's see, conversions. This is the last little tiny region that's going to take a long, long time to convert. But at least now we're starting to deal with all these tougher regions. Okay. Alliance from Great Britain. Yes! Thank you! Gosh, I've been waiting for that for like ever. You know what, Great Britain and us, the only two Protestant nations in the world, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a shilling in the world. A royal marriage! Uh no, um, yeah, I don't want you guys to just go in and go destroy things, um, if I could just individually concede the feats, I mean, I don't really, I don't really care about this war I'm in right now, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm in a war, Julio, you know, I'm not really fighting this war, this is really my war, but Julio, Okay, Native Uprising and Pentec. Okay, so Pentec. There we go, and Askewalny, they're already asking for it. Yeah, you guys have already asked for it. There we go. And that was the mass genocide of the, of the Native people because, quite frankly, they just could not keep their heads down. 
so sad. Okay. For the news! Diplomatic insult! You know what? Let's try to ease the tension. Because you know what? Having that much... That actually puts us in pretty good light with a lot of these people. Like, Lithuania feels threatened by us, but they aren't like... They aren't, like, hateful towards us anymore. Although, I am going to start... Now that I think about it, I am going to start expanding into Lithuania land, because I feel like they have shamed me for the last times. So, we may start doing that, guys. In fact, let's stop fabricating claim on these guys. Hey, you guys, uh, new. Uh, new. Uh, we, we, no. New, fabricate claim on... Let's go to walk first. Yeah, I want that. And then you guys, how are you guys? Um, see, I think it'd be much easier just to if only these guys were our religion. They could easily become part of my empire without me having to do this big long conquest. But we're gonna see if we can slowly annex these guys to our empire. I mean, it's, it's a little bit more diplomatic than I usually go for on AJ has been scared of dang it. You don't like us anymore, but you guys still like us, which is nice. It's, it's nice to not be hated by you guys. Hey, you guys will accept an alliance. We have an opinion of negative seven with them, though. And plus, I'm guessing they aren't actually that good. Yeah, they aren't actually that good of an alliance. We are positively way better than them in almost every way. Yeah, except for administrative tech, we are positively better than them in every other way. Oh gosh, that sounds terrible, but it is so true truth. Okay. Uh, population of settlers. 50 ducats. <laughs> okay, and uh, new... Okay, so it seems like the f some of the natives are finally starting to express their opinions about me colonizing them. That's good. That's good. So, we have some coloni colonies that are, you know, a little bit more adventurous than others. But... You guys really should learn that I'm going to kill you if you guys try to do anything. And I think forming an alliance with Lithuania. I think I, I know what you guys are thinking, but I think forming an alliance with Lithuania will honestly, and I honestly think this will also be a good thing in the end because we need to start destroying some of the little tiny nations in our feed. And honestly, having Lithuania as our ally basically assures that we will not be attacked by anyone next to me without even a big alliance. But this will make sure that we can just start expanding like crazy over here. Because that's what we really want to do. We want to start expanding like crazy. And, you know, fabricating claims is a lot of things we want to do. Just, okay, the ally, yeah, no, those guys would not be fun to declare war on. So I'd have to fight Muscovy. Muscovy is a little bit harder of a nation to fight. Gosh. A little bit harder is a little bit of an understatement, but Kazas Bella. Okay. And judging by the Livonian order this time, they are allied with Hodenstein, Teutonic Order, Spanish defending the capital base in the Okay, so let's see. If we were to go to war with this, let's see who would join in from my side. Great Britain, no, no. We'll go take the blocks. So yeah, none of my allies, none of my allies actually have been drawn into this, so no point. Yeah. And I don't and I don't remember them being Catholic. They are totally Catholic, so yeah, and now Spain's a defender of the faith. Goodness gracious, that kind of stinks. <laughs> Oh gosh, but at least, oh gosh, it looks so great for our nation right now. We have almost all of the land conquered back, and we are rapidly taking through stuff. I think we're one of the first people to get the new kind of ships. Heretics, I mean, with this, we are just, gosh, oh my gosh. Almost have all of our land back under our control, but... We have a claim onto Livonian order. I mean, well, let's be let's let's think about this. How much could Spain cause trouble for me? Let's see. Total army size. Total Muscovy has the most. Scandinavia is third. What? It's fourth. What? 
Spain has 45k. Maximum force limit of 57. Let's see. 61 manpower. Way more than we do. Uh, 21 infantry. Ooh, we actually have way more than that. We have a way bigger army than they do. Hmm. It wouldn't be that hard to defeat these guys. And maybe what we would do is also expand to the capital and just take everything. Oh, I don't know. Be like expansionist. Maybe we should get... Honestly, maybe we should get a little bit more... Just keep getting cores on these guys. Just keep fabricating claims. Novgorod, just so that I have... When I, if I do go to war with them, I'll just press all of my claims. So we won't have to, like, go to individual wars. Okay, and we got something that we can pass. We have claims, and we could get some more buildings. Courthouses, local production efficiency. Let's start doing that. Local production efficiency is pretty good. Trade Depot. Um, do I want a Trade Depot or do I want a local constable? Local tax modifier. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Marketplace, trade power. That's trade power. Uh, local trade power, trade value. Hmm. Dock, dry dock, training fields. Manpower might also be nice. The diplomat also might be nice in a sense. Hmm. Local tax modifier might be the best. Let's just. Let's just do all of, um, of, uh, De of previous Denmark, so I'll be happy, and there we go. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything else. And now we just look at our country as it slowly gains more and more money. I mean, gosh. How does our country rank in terms of, like, income? We gotta be, trade value-wise, we gotta be pretty much up there. 7.78. And how's the rest of the world? There's only one Queen Province, and that's in Oman. Wow. But actually, our place is actually pretty profitable for trade. We're basically the big giants in the uh, Baltic Sea. That's actually pretty good. The big giants in the Baltic Sea. We're making more than the than Istanbul is. Wow. Making more. Wait, we're we making more Muscovy. Not quite. That kind of makes me a little bit mad. Why are we not making more than Muscovy? Won't risk. Actually, this one could help me out. Build them right there. Those two places really do need the revolt of scout. Oh gosh. And then right here, the Ottomans are giving me stuff. Well, I'm gonna be done with that. Our agent was discovered. Alright. Oh yeah, wait, wait. The Livonians won't actually join in. Uh, aggressive expansion is actually pretty high right now. And peasants getting uppity. Lose 10% legitimacy, or, yeah, 10% legitimacy. I'm gonna send my army to go crush the uppity peasants, because they want to be jerks. Okay, there we go. And yeah, these native uprisings aren't really helping you guys, I'm just being honest. I have a little bit too big of an army over here waiting to destroy you. Alright, it seems like, let's see, if you guys, you guys want to concede defeat, I really just don't care. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I really just don't care. There we go. So yeah, sorry guys. I lost that war against that nation, but it wasn't because I was, you know, alliance with Bohemia. Sure, guys. And now that basically maxed out all my relations. If I have alliance with Great Britain, Bohemia, and Lithuania. Yeah, I have a pretty powerful alliance right now. And I got another self-sustaining colony. Yes. Oh, good. That is nice. That means now we have... Oh, gosh. That means this entire coastline is ours. And... Where should I go from here? Hmm. I should probably get more of this land over here. Because I want to make sure that 
Portugal seems like they are expanding pretty rapidly. Or well, I could also get some of the land over here, I guess. I mean, I could at least try to, like, gain some of the Ivory Coast. Hmm. Let's see. Who has the most money again? Who has the most in income in the treasury? The Mali. So the Mali are the ones I'd have to declare war. So let's see. Where are the Mali? The Mali are right there. Okay, I just need one border access with them. That's it. So we'll send it to the Gold Coast. And this is gonna be an important center of trade, even though I'm not really caring about this trade. I'm just gonna go a little bit in there. And I'm not I'm not gonna take the mantle of this anymore. I think now it's starting to become a little bit of a uh you know, it's starting to become more tiring than it's worth. But I think I'm gonna go send a colonist to the gold to the gold African coast. So that I have an instant land boulder with Mali. So that if time comes, and you know, times will come, we can instantly use this and just go destroy them and just go like raid all this stuff. It won't it won't be pretty guys, but at least we'll do it. Okay. By the way, I'm going to You know, make sure all my colonies have two forts. Making sure all my over here had two forts. Yeah, this is something that should be here now. I mean, honestly, we, we're at this point in the game, we should have two forts. So yeah, and I'm also going to be worried to see if they're going, if my colony is actually going to succeed or not. Because this is going to be one of the hardest colonies I'm ever going to establish. 8,000, 8,000 natives and the ferocity of these guys are insane. They will not like me at all. But I am a very, like I said, I am very nice. So maybe they won't make this difficult for me. Royal marriage from Great Britain. Again, I don't know why I would want to get a royal marriage with you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just being, it's not like I'm being offensive to you guys, but you guys, it wouldn't serve my goal to have a royal marriage with you guys. Okay. So I have the Ivory Coast. <laughs> there are approximately 10 settlers here against 8,000 natives. That is not good odds. Africans, actually. They're Africans at this point. So yeah, Africans... Oh gosh, that is not good odds. And I just realized that I'm actually connecting to the old. Well, this will give me good access to the rest of this. Oh gosh, this is going to be terrible land to control. Um... Yeah, at least I have. At least I could say I have some African colonies, though. That's all I need to say is that I have some African colonies. That's all I need to say. Okay, okay. I mean, Scandinavia never made it this far. We never made it. The Scandinavians never made it to that point. So it's good to see us trying, and that we both got pushed down pretty badly. Oh my goodness, we are like advancing in almost everything. Charge Cavalry, Latin Karaoke Cavalry, I mean seriously, we have just advanced, like seriously, excellent, excellent, okay, now that we've gotten all those border colonies, now we should start focusing in on some of these, um, I think I'll actually get this, or do I want this, hmm, Portuguese can get it either way, so it doesn't really matter if I want an island or something like that. Hey, they don't have Trinidad. Hmm. Get Trinidad. Would that be a good goal? Would that be a good goal? Yeah, let's get it. Sure, why not? I mean, it's six plus tax. And honestly, having them will not be bad. Decadence. Oh, that's nice. We gained a core in the province, and our stability just dropped. That kind of stinks. And, we'll only, and the good thing though is that we're still supporting our army only halfway. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so they destroyed it once. That's all I needed to know. I kind of, I, I knew they were going to do this, but I was hoping that they wouldn't make me have to go send an actual army to go fight them. Alright, so that means I'm going to have to like actually build up some foods. Four, five. Get some five. Get some five. It's eighteen. 
19, 20, 21. Okay. So that should be a big enough army. Oh, wait, I need one more. 22. That should be a big enough army right there to go take up our ships. And I guess next time we'll be settling. We'll be trying to get a colony down to go coast. I mean, yeah. We'll be trying to do our first African colony. King, we have discovered that France has canceled righteous. Let's cancel the militaristic actions. That kind of seems. That kind of seems. Let's see. I have two cores on you guys. Let's see. When do they expire? This core expires. 1817. This core expires. 1816. Alright, that's pretty good. So, guys, I think it's time for me to go, but I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye bye.